preschool people. Um, this week was a lot of kids, I'm not gonna lie. So we are really gonna be pushing hardcore to get more volunteers for your room so that we can open back up that second room. This coming week though, for February 28th, we will just continue to plan on being all in one room. So our bottom line for the month is, who loves you? Jesus loves me. And our memory verse is, a friend loves at all times. So for week four, we are hearing the Bible story of the thankful woman. And our story focus is, Jesus loves me no matter what. Hold on one second, sweet pea. So um, this is the story of the woman who poured perfume on Jesus' feet. It was actually Mary. And that is what the story is all about. So. Um, kiddos are going to play for the first 10 minutes of service, and then when you clean up all of their toys, you're going to play this game called Choices. So you're going to have the kids stand in the middle of a room, and you're going to call out some choices below and ask the kids to decide if it's a good choice or a bad choice. And here on the wall, we have a thumbs up. Oh, can you guys go out there really quick because I'm making this video? Or a thumbs down. So they will move to the thumbs up for a good choice or the thumbs down for a bad choice. So some of your choices, brushing teeth, not picking up your toys, arguing with your sibling. And you're just going to say, friends, today we're going to talk about good choices and bad choices. So there's two pictures on the wall, and I'm going to say a choice. If it's a good choice, you'll run to the thumbs up. Bad choice, thumbs down. And then you will go through the choices and say, good job, friends. We all make good choices and bad choices, but someone special loves us no matter what choices we make. And we're going to hear about that in our Bible story today. Then you will head out to large group at 20 after, where you will hear the story of the thankful woman. Lola, shh, can you get off that for a second? Okay, so then when you get back to your room, actually, on the way back to your room, we have a field trip. Hi, Ashley. Hi. Hi. Okay. okay. So as you leave the large group area, you're going to take a field trip down this hallway. And here you're going to look for places to go. So taped along the walls here, we have the playground. We have the grocery store, we have school, and last but not least, we have the dentist. So, there are four places to go that are taped along this hallway. Hey, Outman Girls, little cameo in our video. So, you'll hit those on your way back from large group. And what you're going to do is say, friends, do you guys see these pictures on the walls? Let's look at them. So what do you think's happening in this picture? And talk about it. Say, how does a friend love others on the playground? Yes, a friend loves at all times and practice the memory verse. Then let's go to the next picture and you'll go to the next place. Everywhere we go, no matter what we do, we need to remember that a friend loves at all times. So at school, at the grocery store, at the playground, all those places, you're just gonna practice stopping at those four places and doing a friend loves at all times. Okay, then the next activity is called good choices, bad choices. So it says that you're gonna have a piece of butcher paper and instead of doing that, what I thought is there's eight little pictures that are either a good choice or a bad choice. And you can have all the kiddos sit down and I thought we could just hang them either along there with tape or along here as you talk about them and just hang them up along the wall or even along a table instead of trying to get butcher paper to hang off the wall. Oops, sorry, let me get this. Probably making you guys wanna barf with all these, sorry. Um, so here's what you are doing for this activity. You're gonna lead kids in a discussion about good choices and bad choices. And as you talk about each choice, you're gonna show them the picture and then hang it up and ask them to name some other good choices um, that they could do along with that. So. Um, it's, let's see, so it says, friends come sit with me, we're gonna make choices every day, sometimes we make good choices, sometimes bad choices. Which is the good choice, to help a grown up fold laundry when they ask you to, or to ignore them? Yeah, it's a good choice to help you. So, let's put this here to help us remember this good choice, and then you'll put a picture up of them showing a good choice. So, you'll go back and forth through all of them, leaving your messy bed unmade, or pulling the covers up and making it. Yes, that's a good choice. And it goes through each one of the pictures that are on there, and you can talk about it as you pull them out and then hang them up as you go. So these pictures will be setting out on the counter for you to hang up as you talk about them. All right, then the next activity is called Fragrant Thanks. So kids have this activity page that shows Mary pouring perfume on the feet of Jesus, and it says on there to paint, and actually what we got is the smelly markers. Remember those from like elementary art class? And the kids are gonna color in this perfume down here with the smelly markers. So that way they can remind their parents that she poured perfume on his feet that smelled good. And that's what they will do is they will color in that area with smelly markers. They can use one color or lots of colors, whatever it might be. 
So remind kids to smell it after they color it in and say that Jesus knew what the woman had done and, um, and he could see how sorry she was and how much she loved him. And there's nothing that you could ever do that could stop Jesus from loving you. And then to close down the day, um, we've got a little parachute activity. So we're going to put the parachute on the floor and we're going to have some pom-poms on them that will represent Jesus' love. So some red little pom-pom balls. You're going to ask the kids to stand around the parachute with you and pick up a section of the parachute and have them shake it so their arms move very fast and say, Jesus loves us very much, so let's play at this parachute. And these little red dots represent how much Jesus loves us and just have fun with the parachute for the end of class. And then with your time left, you can have them sit down and eat a snack and watch rewatch their Ollie video. So that is it for February week four for our preschool room. Thank you guys for serving. You are seriously all amazing. So, so grateful for you. Love you all, and we'll see you on Sunday.